Hi guys, Ben here and welcome to the preview of the UEFA Champions League semi-final, that's right, semi-final, I can't believe I'm saying that, uh, between Liverpool and Roma. It takes place on Tuesday night at Anfield in a game that it's been impossible to get tickets for. Uh, it's just, yeah, the most hyped up game in years and years and years, even more so than Man City. Um, and the fact that we're slight favourites with the bookmakers makes it even more exciting, even perhaps it shouldn't, because... We've got to be careful with complacency, but we're here, it's tomorrow night, and yeah, we've got a huge opportunity to go to Kiev. So let's look at the game. Obviously, we're coming off the back of a 2-2 draw with West Brom and Charby in the weekend, which was hugely frustrating, but I don't think that's going to be in our minds going to this one. Um, that very much will be just a niggling little thing that we wish never happened, but will it have any long-term problems? I don't think so. It's just one of them. It's not like it's typical of us. It's not like we, we're conceding loads of sloppy goals at the moment. Um, it's just a game that we let slip with a lot of players out, rested or injured or whatever. Um, there'll be many, many changes for this game, especially in defence. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious. The 11, I don't think there's any real dispute, which is unusual for us. Um, I think the, the form that each of the 11 players that are going to start the game in, it pretty much picks itself, especially after players that played on the weekend fail really to capitalise on their opportunity to impress the manager. So I'd be shocked if it's anything other than Karius, Trent, Lovren, Van Dijk, Robertson, Henderson, Oxide chamberlain Milner, uh, Mane, Salah and Firmino. I mean, that midfield three... I mean, we've got a big pool of six or seven players that can play in that position, uh, but those three, Milner, Ox and Henderson, have really made it their own, even, you know, obviously with Chan and Lallana being injured, but even with just the form of the three they're going to start, the, th the three that have been in the best form over the last two or three months, especially James Milner, um, who, you know, many had kind of written off, of, well, he, he was left back all of last season, and we all kind of, we all kind of shrugged our shoulders and rolled our eyes, even when, when it was kind of, told that he was going to be playing in midfield this season and we were fed the line that that's like a new signing but it, it genuinely has been he's been really really good the last few weeks one of the most important players in our team same with Oxley chamberlain and i'm very happy with that midfield three and it's going to need to be a strong midfield against uh against roma with that pivot of de rossi and strootman with nanglan in there as well I, I imagine they're going to play a 3-4-2-1 with nanglan slightly further forward but still that mid is going to be dropping in helping out he's going to have to Tracking the runs of Oxley Chamberlain and the and the you know all, Milner always getting into the right pockets of space uh, and, and Milner's just a complete workhorse so Nanglan's gonna have to be on his on his uh, A game uh, but yeah Roma are in good form I mean they are in a very similar position in Serie A to us they're not in a title race um, they're in a bit of a battle um, to finish as high up as they can they're currently in third uh, our points per game ratio is slightly better than theirs. Uh, but yeah, we're very similar in terms of how we're doing in each other's domestic leagues. I'd say we're probably closer um, to perfection uh, or closer to hit, hitting our ceiling than they are. Um, I think we play we play better football. Um, well, it's going to be a great clash of styles. We play the more attractive football, but they maybe play it more effective in some ways. Um, I've only seen them you know half a dozen times this season. But yeah, when I've seen them, there have been some quite robotic performances. They don't score freely, um, but they have, they are threatening. They've got the the wonderful left foot of Kolarov, who you'd think would be a target for us, and I mean he may well be um, with with Salah playing on his flank. But his left foot is an absolute wand. Uh, Van Dijk is going to have tons and tons of balls to head away with Edin Dzeko, uh, the battering round, the very talented one at that though, um, playing up against him. I'm sure Van Dijk is going to relish that. Love run as well. Um, so yeah, it's gonna. It's not going to be easy. They they're very different. They're not like Man City. They're not like Bayern Munich. They're not even like Real Madrid. Um, they're very organised, obviously, as, as, as a cliche, but they are very organised. Um, typical Serie A outfit with a strong midfield, good passing range in there, uh, and a striker like Eden Dzeko, who is actually scoring lots of fun in Serie A, has been for a couple of years now. Um, so they've got plenty of threats. They've got Cenk under, who, when I've seen, I've been really impressed with. Whether he starts or not, I don't know. I, I know he missed the, uh, the, the derby. So, yeah, picking their 11 isn't as straightforward as ours, but... All we do know is it's not going to be easy, but we are the favourites and we cannot hide away from that. I know when we got the draw, uh, when it came out of the hat that we're going to play Roma, I uploaded the video saying I was delighted with it. Um, and I think I was within my right to be when we could have faced Real Madrid. Some people kind of commented saying, don't count your chickens, don't underestimate them, you're being complacent. Not complacency at all. 
I think this is going to be a very, very tough game. I don't think it's 50-50. I do think we are slight favourites, and I expect us to take a lead to Rome. But yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a Champions League semi-final, of course, it's going to be tough. These guys beat Barcelona. Um, so it's crucial, obviously, that we take a lead there. And if we can keep a clean sheet, even if it's 1-0, it's just going to make us feel so much more comfortable going out there. Um, you know, it was the away goal they had at the new camp that they clung on to. Obviously, they still had a huge mountain to climb, taking it back to the uh, Olympic Stadium in Rome. Uh, they still had to win by three clear goals, and they did exactly that. But if we can just avoid, um, if we can just make sure they don't get the away goal, easier said than done, then it takes away so much promise uh, in the second leg. So even if it's a 1-0, but I would hope for more than that, I'd hope for a two or three goal lead. And we are capable of that. Whether that's not complacency, we are capable of that. We've done it to so many teams, quality teams as well. Man City obviously being the best. Um, I've got no problem with us attacking the cop first half either. It can be an exact replica of what happened against Man City. That is the blueprint. Just absolutely blitz them for 45 minutes um, and see where that takes us. If that takes us to a two goal lead, then wonderful. Um, but it's, yeah, the, the script, I'm sure the script's going to be ripped up within, within five or ten minutes. But you have to analyse the game uh, as it is. And yeah, we're, we're four to nine with the bookies, so that's, that's quite strong favourites to advance. Um, and on the, on the night we're eight to fifteen to win as well, so similar there. We're you know pretty much two to one on uh, on both on both um, both markets, with women being outsiders. So that's um, <laughs> you'd, you'd, have, you'd have taken that at the start of the season, and then obviously yeah, it's the following night. It's Bayern Munich Real Madrid, uh, and we'll have to kind of sit back and watch that unfold. You know, and God knows what kind of situation we'll be in by then. Prediction. Uh, I don't know if I can see us keeping a clean sheet here. Um, you know, we've done it in three of the four games in the lockout stages, uh, but we failed to do it against Sevilla at home. Did do it against Maribor and CSK Moscow. So yeah, it, it's only the it's only the Sevilla game where we conceded at home in the Champions League this season. But we did concede twice, and we also conceded against Hoffenheim. Uh, was that a four-two win? Uh, back in in August uh, in in the qualifiers. So. We are undefeated in Europe this season, um, and you know Roma will not be the toughest opponent we've faced. They'll be round about second best. Um, the, it's the time for analysis is over. The time for analysis is completely over. But one thing that I will say, uh, Mohamed Salah was, you know, it wasn't at his best on on Saturday, and I think he wasn't at his best against Bournemouth either. I don't know if it's the eagerness of getting the golden boot. Um, He's got the PFA Player of the Year under his belt now. Maybe that will take some pressure off. Uh, but it, it's against his old club. It's against Roma. So is he going to be too anxious to show them what they're missing out on? Is he going to be too anxious to be, you know, on the biggest stage that he's been on? Um, this is the biggest moment of his career. He's firing us to the Champions League here. Uh, he's the PFA Player of the Year. He's, you know, got one foot, um, you know, towards winning the Golden Boot in the Premier League and. You know, in Europe as well. Scoring goals fun in Europe in the Champions League. This is the biggest stage that he'll have played on probably in his life. Um, you know, barring international competition, biggest club spectacle uh, that he'll have been a part of really. Champions League semi final. Um, so yeah, it, it's his time. We're all expecting him. It's against his old club. The headlines are all going to be about him before and after the game, no matter what the outcome. So yeah. Um, Everyone else, I think, will take it in their stride. We haven't got much Champions League pedigree, um, especially in the latter stages of the tournament. You know, it's all new to Van Dijk, it's all new to Jordan Henderson, it's all new to Firmino and Mane, uh, the keeper as well, Karius, who's come from nowhere to be our number one. So yeah, it's huge. And I, you know, Roma the same. A, a lot of their players will not have got this far in Champions League, um, and a lot of them will be in the shop window to an extent. You know, Allison attracting huge interest from the likes of us. Uh, maybe even even you know other other European giants like Real Madrid. I think I've been uh, seeing li him linked with. So pressure on both. But it's a Champions League semi-final, and I think Klopp will just tell the players, "You've got this far. You should be so proud of yourselves. Um, don't consider yourselves the favourites. Go out there, play exactly how we play every single week. Press from the front, high tempo, ruthless in front of goal is the most important thing because you know we've been guilty of not being that at times this season." Uh, enjoy it and there's a game at Kiev waiting um, I've booked my flights to Kiev um, you know that's not me thinking we're gonna win it's just me trying to avoid the, the, the price rush and you know if, if we lose I'll go anyway but yeah 
Uh, I don't have a ticket for the game as it stands, so I'm going to go to Liverpool anyway. Um, so there'll be some content um, afterwards. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get get lucky and get a ticket on the day. I will. I do have a ticket for the away game, which has been so much easier to get a ticket for. Um, so I'll be in Rome next week. But yeah, let's see how we go. It's the biggest game since the Europa League final, maybe even before that, maybe the biggest game since since Chelsea at home when Gerrard slipped. It's one of the classic, classic Liverpool games in years gone by. It's the first Champions League semi-final in a decade. I can't wait to see how we get on. I'm really, really confident um, that we're gonna that we're gonna take a good lead to Rome at least. Um, so score prediction: two 0 We're gonna win the game two 0 Salah to score them both. Why not? He's the man. Um, yeah, leave a comment with your predictions. Leave a comment with your starting lineup predictions. Would you make any changes to the lineup? I suggested maybe Vinaldum or. Um, you know, anyone else you might fancy. I can't really think of any other contentious ones, maybe Joe Gomez or, or Klein. But there we go, guys. There we go. I'll be back after the game with my analysis and everything. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you're new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.